How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. And all will see how great, how great is our God. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. And all will see how great, how great is our God. Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Happy Sunday. Happy Father's Day to all fathers out there and all father figures as well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Teresa and I'm happy to be here with you to sing to the Lord and share our Sunday Gospel Reflection. And so um, without further ado, we are going to begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We pray to the Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolations. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, we are going to see one of the miracles of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he performed with his disciples. His disciples then, and he's still doing it now with us, his disciples now. So, as usual, we're going to start with a song or two. And our first song is going to be one song that I love so much is by Nathaniel Bassey and it's Glorious God. It talks about the power of God. It gives praise to the omnipotent power of God. And we sing. Glorious God, wonderful God, miracle worker, King of kings, omnipotent God, I worship you, your majesty is forever more glorious God, wonderful God, miracle worker, king of kings omnipotent one i worship you your majesty is forever more amen today's gospel reading is taken from the Gospel of St. Mark. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory be to you, O Lord. On that day, as evening drew on, Jesus said to his disciples, Let us cross to the other side. Leaving the crowd, they took Jesus with them in the boat, just as he was. And other boats were with him. A violent squall came up and waves were breaking over the boat so that it was already filling up. Jesus was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. They woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up, rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Quiet, 
be still. The wind ceased and there was great calm. Then he asked them, why are you terrified? Do you not have faith? They were filled with great awe and said to one another, who then is this whom even wind and sea obey? The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't God powerful? That even the wind and the sea obey him. So our question today, who is in the boat of our lives? Is it Jesus Christ? What do we do when we know we have Jesus Christ in our boat? Do we trust God to help us through every situation? I can personally say that I have gone through some storms in life and Jesus has always been in my boat. Don't get me wrong. There are days when those storms get overwhelming. Like remember last week, I didn't post a gospel reflection. I was going through some storms, but Jesus was still with me. He kept me pushing on, even though I couldn't do it for one Sunday. He prepared me to do it for another Sunday. So there'll be times when we're going to have our boats almost filling up with that water, that storm of life. Trust Jesus. He's still with you. He never lets us go. He's a good shepherd. We, we have to think about this question from Jesus. He said, why are you terrified? So if we say we believe in Jesus, why are we terrified? If we say we have Jesus, why are we terrified? When we did not know God, when we lived our old life of sin, of shame, of death, we were in that avenue, we were in the path of destruction. We did not have Jesus to call on. That's why St. Paul says in the letter to the Corinthians, he says today, so whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. So if we are that new creation, born again in Christ Jesus, even when those storms of life come, even when the sea and the wind shake us, let us never, ever, ever forget that Jesus is with us in our boat, helping us, sustaining us, carrying us, even when we can't carry ourselves. Yes, let's boast in that. Let's boast in the fact that Jesus is always with us. His name is Emmanuel. When those storms come, cry out to Emmanuel, say, God, you are with me, help me. And then think about the divine mercy image. It has Jesus and the words, Jesus, I trust in you. So if it's today, tomorrow, whenever, because we are going to go through trials and tribulation, so long as we are in this earth, Jesus told us, he prepared us, that he has overcome the world. So as new creations in Christ Jesus, we too, with Jesus, will overcome. But we must trust in Jesus. We must answer Jesus when he says, do you not have faith? Yes, Lord, I believe. Help my own belief. We believe in Jesus. He will help us. The Holy Spirit will guide us. The Holy Spirit will strengthen us. The Holy Spirit will remind you and I when those storms come to call on Jesus, to say, Jesus, Master, Teacher, help me. The storms are heavy. Help me calm the wind. Because Jesus gives us something with, which surpasses even our understanding. It is a peace beyond measure that even when we are going through, is it sickness, is it poverty, is it homelessness, is it, is it drought, famine, um, joblessness, is it problem in the family, problem at school, at work, those problems will come. But Jesus has overcome and he'll help us overcome because he's in our boat. 
He's on our side. And the battle is the Lord's, not ours. He gives us something that we cannot buy. It's called peace. When Jesus is in your boat, you have this peace. It passes every understanding. So whatever we're going to go through this week today, let's remember to trust in Jesus, knowing that he is with us, knowing that he will rebuke the wind and the sea, and he will tell that problem, quiet, be still. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. So we're going to keep this short and sweet. Our um, next song is going to be, it's a beautiful chorus I love to sing. And I'm so happy to be able to sing it today. And it goes, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Heaven and earth adore him, even wind and sea obey him. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Heaven and earth adore him, even wind and sea obey him. Yes, what a mighty God we serve. Amen. Hallelujah. And then we are going to conclude with Soul of My Savior. Soul of My Savior, we're going to do um, verses 1 and 3. Soul of my Savior, sanctify my breast. Body of Christ, be thou my saving guest. Blood of my Savior, bathe me in thy tide. Wash me with water flowing from thy side. Guard and defend me from the formalin. In that dread moment, make me only thine. Call me and bid me come to thee on high, where I may praise thee with thy sense for I Amen. Amen. God is good all the time and all the time God is good and we'll conclude with a grace the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore amen surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever Amen. God is good all the time and all the time God is good. Have a very blessed Sunday trusting in Jesus and when those storms come, when the wind and the sea begin to shake our boats, we are going to say today and always, Jesus, I trust in you. Have a blessed day. Goodbye.